welcome to my channel if you are new here i'm barbara Borgia and i create content on studying abroad in today's video we are going to focus on universities you should apply to if you have a background in civil engineering either for masters or phd this video will focus on civil engineering so civil environment everything that has to do with civil focus on these universities not only these universities but these are universities that you can start with let me know in the comment section which other program you want me to make a video on the universities people should focus on so the first university is the north carolina state university and this is what they say about their financial support we offer a broad range of financial aid at the graduate level including assistance fellowships loans work study program and research grants so this is what you need to know at the end of the video i'm going to tell you what you should do with this information how to apply to this university so this is the first university the next university we are going to look at is the university of north carolina at Ch charlotte i don't know if it's charlotte or charlotte or i don't know which one it is but you know what i mean so take your pens and papers and write the names of the university so here this is what they say about but about their their, their program civil and environmental engineering teaching and research assistantships are available on a competitive basis to highly qualified students who are admitted to full standing when it comes to the u.s and canada i will always advise you to find a supervisor and send an email to i've made this video on how to send code email just go to my channel and type code email this video has been very helpful to a lot of people a lot of people have reached out to me telling me that they've sent emails they do not receive a response but once they use the format i talked about in this video they have received a response so use this to draft a code email and send it to these professor so this is the second university the third university we are going to canada that's the ubc ubc has a lot of scholarships it's called it's one of the u15 universities these are the universities that receive a lot of funding in canada if you don't know about the u15 go to my channel and type canada it will give you other universities that you should focus on it doesn't matter the program you want if you want to study in canada these universities, fully investing in Canada, you should apply to if you are looking for fully funded scholarships. Go check them out. Check to see if those universities have your program and apply to it. The next university we are looking at is UNC. That's the University of North Carolina. The interesting thing about this, they are Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering is that they also do global and public health. So if, if you are doing civil engineering and you want to go into public health, this is also an university that you should consider. So the Department of Environmental Science and Engineering offers several scholarships and awards for students. So these are some of the scholarships that they do offer for their, their students. Now, so we've looked at four universities. We've looked at NC State, we've looked at um, Charlotte, we've looked at UBC, and we've looked at um, University of North Carolina. I'm going to give you some bonus university that you could also focus on. University of Alberta in Canada, University of Alabama, the Hong Kong Polytechnic University, University of Wyoming, Virginia Tech, Louisiana State University. I didn't open them up because I've already done that. So what do you do with this information? So let's say you want to apply to UBC. Do this for every of the universities I've mentioned. You go to Google and type the name of the university. So UBC, Civil Engineering Graduate Apply. UBC name of university the program you want to apply civil engineering graduate so that you know that they are graduate program and you want to apply it will bring it up it will bring their website on how to apply or the information you need I'm going to use the same format you can use it like if you are not doing civil engineering another program the universities I've mentioned just put it there and see who knows they might have the program you are looking for so let's say let me take one of the universities I mentioned here Louisiana State University. I'll copy it here and I'll put it here, paste. I'll, I'll search so they'll bring it up. Graduate program, apply now. But I'm going to open this College of Engineering because it's always important to read the, their website to see what they have. 
okay this is biological chemical civil and environmental they have all you need here if you want to open their website you go here construction management is also here so all you need to know about this program is here admission procedure so you click on here to apply if you want to see funding i'll still go back here and i'll put um, graduate assistantship so to pop up here assistantship or even resource El college of engineering this is is better for us because we are looking at engineering I don't know okay let me see the the flashy graduate assistantship provides okay so this is for this one particular one is for prospective PhD candidate this is for US citizen this is not what we want so graduate assistantship at LC there are many reasons to become a teaching assistant there's a new graduate the bottom in the right so we come here eligibility requirements international students so a graduate assistantship offers continue upon receiving and maintaining valid visa status international students holding teaching positions must meet so we, we will meet the english language requirements because we are from english speaking country i'm talking about um ghana so this is how they are graduate assistantship available assistantship we will look at this so So these are the positions that are available in the department you could apply for it so this is how you do you do the the search and most of the time you will find all this information on their website so yeah uh, I'm rooting for you start researching on these universities and as i said in the beginning let me know in the comment section which other program you want me to consider if you haven't yet subscribed do so hit the bell button leave comments this is how you help the channel grow so to hear from me again